Everything, everything, everything I touch will break. And every day, every day, every day you give and I take. I'm living the best that I can, but fate never followed my plans. I'm holding you back. So I want you to pack up and grow. Oh, 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 oh. We're on our way to Durian Bay and we just pulled into Lake Endu to see if it would be worth a stay next time. And it looks beautiful. The weather's not that great today, but it's very cheap. $5 donation into the honesty box. It's got toilets and cold showers everything you've done is great but your back has been feeling exhausted from all of the weight I'll carry this burden myself just put me up high on a shelf think of me fondly but please has everything you need there's two hardware places lots of places to fuel up an IGA butcher shops everything you need is here
I'll be right behind you, Josephine. I won't leave you waiting in this dream. While you watch the people speaking words you can't quite comprehend. You ask me if I'd pinch you, but my fingers wouldn't bend. I'll be right behind you, Josephine. Just like I was when we were 17. We're at the South Bay Lookout, which is a green head. And out there is Fisherman's Island. So the Australian sea lions breed in this area at the on the island and they always breed in their own birthplace. We've got some lovely white sand dunes over there. The water looks pretty clear too. Dynamite Bay at Greenhead looks pretty cool. A little bit of weed. Josephine, even when my soul's an amputee, and my bleeding heart is sinking in the lake inside my chest, so I grab what I can cling to and I leave behind the rest. I'll hold my hand, I'll hold my breath. There's nothing in this world we really own. Jesus Christ, if you tore my heart out, the only thing I feel was less alone. Now hold my hand and take my breath and leave behind the things you'll never own. And Jesus Christ, please tear my heart. This is Point Louise Lookout. Greg's ventured over the other side there. Hello, Greg. <laughs> what a gorgeous little bay. This is 
the Durian Bay boat jetty where the boats come in and out. If you're a park runner and looking for Durian Bay Park Run, the 5k app will bring you out at this cafe and then it's just a 300 meter walk to the grass area here where they start from and that's the shelter that they use in bad weather. That's pretty cool, there's some parachuters coming down. There's a memorial here for the Durian Bay jetty that was built in 1885. It's no longer here. There's a lot of great bike paths around Durian Bay, so there's lots of places for us to walk. Little gazebos all along the walkways and lots of toilets and parkland. I like Durian Bay. It's pretty cold. This is going to take a bit of courage. No one else swimming. Yo no sé cómo lo hace. Baby, déjame ser el que te complace. En mi mente corriendo base. Me quedo contigo, pase lo que pase. Baby, espero que me ames. Me tiene volando en el cielo como la sabe. We could have a bit of action here. We got a very strong wind in the direction from that fire so we're gonna go have a look and see if it's under control it's just the other side of the airport by the look Not as much wind today, so the flies are friendlier, uh, but I've got a few more friends in the water. Let's see how cold it is today. So I've just met Penelope, who's a local to Durian Bay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so how long have you been here? Uh, about 14 years. Yeah? Mm. And I love your playground. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah. tell me about what you do at Durian Bay. What do I do? I've, I do a bit of everything. I've written a book about um, fables about the Midwest Ocean. And um, there's actually 11 islands in the bay. So if you like exploring, there's always something to do. Lots of beautiful snorkeling out there. I do a lot of snorkeling, a lot of fishing, kayaking, trying a bit of free diving at the moment. And what should people see when they come here? <laughs> they should really just enjoy the garden that is below in the ocean. There's so much to see if you truck on a snorkel and a mask and head out to some of the islands or even uh, in closer you'll see the beautiful uh, different realm that nature provides for us. 
and obviously we're a very small regional town so it's a really peaceful place, safe place because it's a bay to bring your children. There's no rips in this bay so you can have peace of mind for family. The water's beautiful. It's refreshing and, uh, but beautiful. Yeah, sometimes it really is a beautiful turquoise colour. And um, of course we've got our beautiful sea lions here which are just so adorable and they love children. Where do they come? They come over to the islands at Essex, they come to Sandyland. Sometimes they come in here to the jetty. <laughs> Alright, well thanks Penelope. I'm about to let the truth come out If I told you I was ready